Hi there folks, Brendan from Boomer RC here. Just want to give you a quick demonstration and unveiling of our newest product, the IntelliMatch version 2. Now the IntelliMatch version 2 comes in two different types. It comes in an IM14, which is one signal and four outputs. And then you've got an IntelliMatch 2.2, which comes in two signal inputs, four signal outputs, two outputs per input. So I'm currently holding an IntelliMatch 2.2, and this would be mainly used for uh, left and right aileron, or if you're using a set of servos for each side of uh, your elevator. We're just gonna go through the channels. So from the top down, we've got the arming bat terminal. This is mainly used for programming, but it can also be used as an extra power input. Below that, you've got input A and input B. So as an example, input A would be left hand, aileron and input B would be right hand aileron. Battery is for an extra supply of power if you're powering two to four servos you're going to need that. Output A1 and output A2 are directly linked to input A through the matching system so that would be your two servos on your left hand aileron. Output B1 and output B2 would be on the right aileron that's the two servos and they would talk directly to input B. So now I'm holding an IM14 and the main difference between the IM14 and the IM22 is the IM14 has one input channel but it will talk to four output channels. You've got your master and then you've got three slave servers which can be matched. Okay, so from the top down you've got your arm and your bat um, input channel which is mainly used for programming but you can also use as a power source. You've got your single input uh, channel. This would come from your receiver into the IntelliMatch system. Then you've got two extra battery terminals for added power if you're using um, high voltage servos. Then you've got your master out servo. Okay, This is the, the main servo that all the three will be matched to. Then you've got servo A, B and C a slave servos that will be matched to the master servo. This particular IM would be used for a rudder configuration. So we're just going to go through a quick first time setup with the IntelliMatch 2.2 system. In my hand I've got a signal wire, now this is directly connected to a receiver and I'm just going to put it in input A. As you can see the LEDs are on which means that the module has power and it's working. Now I've got two servo connectors and I'm just going to put one of them, the master servo, into output A1 and the second servo into output A2. Now you'll notice there's some buzzing in the background. That's because the servos haven't been matched yet. We'll get to that next. So we've now connected our signal wire from our receiver and our two servo wires to our output A1 and output A2. You can hear some buzzing and that's because the servos haven't been matched yet. Our next step is to set the endpoints of travel for the servos. And I'll just do that now. So you pull it one way, press down the A button, it remembers that. And you can see it's gone the other way, push down the B button and it remembers that. Now just return your stick to centre. So now that we've set the maximum travel for the servos, we're just going to get rid of the buzz around the centre using the new subtrim feature on the IM22. To do this, just grab a little screwdriver and have a note of this rotary dial. It's currently set to zero, which is run mode. To enter subtrim mode, all we do is we turn it to one. There we go. And we just press the A and the B button until the subtrim comes in and you get rid of all that buzz. Once you've finished with the subtrim feature, just turn it back to zero and it'll save that subtrim. So we've just gone through the subtrim, now we're going to go through the IntelliMatch system. To do that, you're going to need the arming plug that comes with the IntelliMatch and you just plug it into this arm bat and it goes into program mode. Now because we've gone into input A and output A1 and output A2, to enter IntelliMatch for that we just push the A button. 
what you're currently seeing is an intelligent matching sequence for those two servos. We've sped up this footage, but as you can see, the master servo, which is the lower one, is picking a point, and the slave servo, which is the one above it, is actually matching to that point. And that's happening across the 100 points for that entire range. So we've just finished doing an intelematching sequence on the two servos that you see here and I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration of how well they're actually matched together. So if I move the control stick, you can hear that there's very minimal buzzing through that entire range. The buzzing that you're actually hearing is the servos moving because we're using high quality digital servos. So thank you very much for watching folks, keep an eye on this space, we'll be adding more videos and more products very soon.